Hey, Dan, do you know what's in one month from this week? Uh, one month, that would be April 8th. Um, in 1904, Long Acre Square in New York City was renamed Times Square. Not quite what I was thinking. No? Yeah, not quite what I was oh. thinking. What about well, around well, Redeemer? I don't know. What yeah. happens in one month from today? One month from this week is the Easter Vigil. One the of, Easter Vigil? One of my favorite services of my the whole year. My favorite service, too. I know. The Easter Vigil is a historical service of the church where we await the resurrection of our Lord from Saturday evening into Sunday early morning. So it's a late night service, starts at 8.30. We asked a few of our friends to tell you what their favorite part of the Easter Vigil is. My favorite part of the Easter Vigil service is the coffee that keeps us going during the break in between the first and the second part of the service. Um, just kidding. Well, I do love coffee, but um, really my favorite part is the Easter acclamation, ringing the bells, redecorating the church. The snacks. Torn between rocking out to Keith Green or the midnight baptisms. One of those two. We all have bright lights and bells and we ring them and it's crazy. <laughs> Getting to make like Eden Merriweather and dance in church and nobody even thinks it's weird. <laughs> My favorite part of the Easter Vigil this year is the fellows are going to be a part of it on the fabric team. I'm excited for my first Easter Vigil at Redeemer and I'm excited to get to be a part of it as a fellow. That we get the journey from babies through adults and this whole story together. The dancing, the art that we watched in motion, and the dessert. I love going through the whole story of scripture and we all leading up to the crucifixion and then rejoicing. Sam Stanley at three years old, outlasting all the other children in the building, cheering at midnight. All of it. Tell me more. What's happening with the Easter Vigil? What is it? We remember the story of God's people and how God has moved throughout all of history. Um, and we remember and celebrate what he's done on the cross and raising from the dead. So it's a, it's a service of arts, of music, of readings, of celebration. You don't want to miss it. It's one of the best services of the year. I agree. And although it seems strange to say, bring your kids too as well, bring your kids too. We'll, we'll have a table in the back where there's snacks that they can eat. They can literally bring a sleeping bag and sleep on the floor. That's 100% fine. Um, but to let them come and be a part of this, and if you're going, I don't know, my kid just can't handle it. Well, you can always get a babysitter if you want to, but we encourage you to be able to, to bring them out with you and experience the community that, uh, that night. And then uh, we, have, we have Easter services as well the next day also. You can go to all of them. You can go to some of them, whatever it is that you want to do. But we really do want to encourage you to come out to the Easter Vigil this year. Amelia is our creative director and our service director for, for that night. There's just a lot of amazing things from within our community, people playing instruments and, and art and dance and as uh, just amazing things. So, again, one of my favorite services of the year. We do encourage you to make this a part of your uh, yearly celebration as well um, within uh, within the calendar year of the church and so we hope to see you out april 8th at 8 30 yes 8 30 yep. look forward to seeing you there